1 Blue Jays 3 Ray While most of Jays news today is dominated by trade routes, Jays sneered in the game later, traveling to the House of Horrors in St. Petersburg to face light on the tro. But the dominant performance by Gaussman led them to win 3-1 over Tampa Bay. At 6 o'clock in the afternoon, Jays got with Mary Feld, Mitch White, Zach Pop, Anthony Bass, Alex DeJesus and PTBNL for Jordan Groshans, Max Castillo, Semad Taylor, Nick Frasso, and Maze Brito. Enter our post for each trade to praise or complain about the agreement. With a line that ends, Jays has two months baseball to focus on victory, and it starts tonight. Drew Rasmussen starts for light, and after exiting quickly, Vlad smokes double and advancing to the third position in the ground from the pitcher from Kirk before being chosen at home by Bocket with one to almost the same place. They made Bocket try to steal the second to end inning. Kevin Gaussman took the hill for Jays. The light seems to put his splitter earlier, but outside the road and the HBP pitch in the first, he pushed them out of their zone and began to collect bad strikeouts and contact. In the third, Jays threatened with one by Guriel that he was unfortunately trying to stretch before being cut down in second place. Vladdy will hit a long single to the field to be followed. Kirk walked behind him, set the stage for Bo again. Vladdy stole the third 30 and Bo hit what looked like a perfect frozen rope to the middle right, but Siri was able to take it with a sliding catch. In fourth, with Chapman in the first, Jays ruined the punch and ran, and he was deleted trying to take the second. It took until the sixth when the number nine hitter hit the right field to the light to get their first hit. Quickly deleted with a dual game starting by Bo, Gaussman will make a very good game on Bunt Burthen to get the final from inning. Gaussman went to the eighth with ten strikeouts. Apart from the initial challenges, he rose again, making them pursue the splitter they talked about in the first and then left their approach afterwards. He went to the ninth with 103 tone and only one blow. The Jays broke out against Armstrong in the ninth. Hernandez and Tapia got a base for Jansen Bloop to only find holes in the outfield triangle to add some running insurance. Jordan Romano came out, looking for the sixth rescue in a row. Bad Leroy Brown throws get it over, 